Yo, what's happening? It's Mikey. If you are interested in making a podcast, I cannot recommend Spotify for Podcasters enough. Dude, it is so freaking easy. Seriously, Spotify for Podcasters lets you create and then distribute your podcast, and you can even earn money from it, man. And you don't need any fancy equipment. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit your podcast right from your phone or your computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can just start creating today. And you can do video podcasts, too, like I do. Just download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to Spotify.com slash podcasters to get started today yo and welcome to the one and only award-winning mikey podcast if this is your first time here this show is a wild ride through the news true crime real life stories conspiracies and everything in between today we're going to dive into the craze over these stanley water bottles i have one i'm showing you right here if you're a sub club member you can see it freeloaders it's just a black stanley cup i don't get it i don't understand the craze but we'll talk about that for a minute. But there's a reason why, because there's a thirsty thief here in my local town who stole a whole bunch of them. And when I say whole bunch, I mean way more than you could even imagine. Plus, we'll talk about in and outs beef with crime and the roller coaster of love and hate that everyone seems to have with California. We'll get into all that. Get ready. I'm about to spill the tea. We're going to crack some jokes, maybe have a few laughs, have some fun, talk about the news, and of course, question everything on today's episode of The Mikey Podcast. All sites, please stand by channel one. Communications, switch into channel one. All right, here it comes. Be ready. Switch control to manual override. Awaiting confirmation of the video feed. Countdown is running at five, four, three, two, one. The Mikey Podcast. Welcome back, my friends. It is Monday. Monday sucks. It does suck, but it doesn't have to suck. You could be reading a story about the time I told my mom to donate my brain to science on Christmas Day after I was up all night tripping on balls and doing blow. That's a fun story. Only sub club members get access to that over MikeyPodcast.com. If you are a sub club member, log in and uh, get caught up on the blogs, get caught up on the past episodes. If you haven't, freeloaders, you could just listen to the ad filled audio only version of the Mikey podcast at MikeyPodcast.com or on all uh, podcast platforms, but you don't get access to the sub club Chronicle, which is where the story of me doing blow and tripping my balls off on Christmas day lives. But there are other blogs that you can read at MikeyPodcast.com. They're just not the deep good ones. You should subscribe now. MikeyPodcast.com. Plus you can support, you can support independent media. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go on and on and on and try and sell you guys on a, on a bunch of stuff, but there is good content over there. And plus more new content on the way. I promise sub club members it's happening. If you are a member, you're good to go. Uh, oh, by the way, if you just real quick, I sent out a newsletter yesterday. If you aren't, if you're listening to this podcast, maybe you're new to the show uh, in the description of this and every episode of the Mikey podcast, there are all the links that you need to subscribe and follow and join to get the newsletter, which is free and follow me on social media, all those things, all the links are right there in the episode there and stick around and find out how you can score a free Mikey podcast t-shirt. I'll tell you about that. That's going to be a lot of fun. I talked about that. I kind of did that on Friday and, um, it was, it was cool, dude. I gave away some shirts and it went pretty quick. And so I decided to, well, I'll just tell you guys in a little bit, because before we get into that, I want to talk about these, this right here, this Stanley cup. Look, first of all, I'll drink out of it. It's great. I love it. My wife got this for me months ago. You've probably seen me drinking it on the show and I'm using it on the show. And I mean, I don't, I don't know anything about Stanley cups. So like when she got it, I was like, oh, cool. It's a water bottle. Like it was like this big ass water bottle. What the fuck am I going to do with it? But then I re then I started using it and I'm like, oh, this is cool. I like it. But I didn't know that it was like a thing. She had to have known that it was a thing. I had no clue uh, that it was like a big deal really until like Christmas time when people were going like, look, let me put the thing up on the screen. Like people were, were going crazy buying these things. They were selling them for like 329 bucks. The Starbucks Stanley Tumblr, $329. I don't understand. And it says this, this article here says why it's not weird. People are fighting over cups. Uh, it's weird. It's very weird. It's a cup. Okay. But dude, and then there was like these countless, countless tiktok shops selling counterfeit stanley cups because i would i was like scrolling through i was like holy shit my wife likes these things okay so she if there was like another color that i think she'd be into i was like oh, I, i'll buy one of these but then they, they were selling them for like 15 dollars. these things are pretty expensive i don't know it was like 40 50 bucks whatever um 
So I'm like, there's no way this is a real Stanley Cup. So I Googled it and it's not. So watch out what you're buying on TikTok shops. That shit's usually a, or not usually, but at least the Stanley Cups are fake. By the way, before I get any further into the show, this could be a very interesting episode of the Mikey Podcast because I've already recorded this show once and then there was an audio issue and I went through the whole thing and I go back to, to download it and get it shared and everything like that. And it sounded like, it sounded like it, I sounded like an alien. It was crazy. I, something happened on last Friday too. Like go back and listen to, to uh, Freeloader Friday from this past week. Excuse me. Um, there's a, it, all of a sudden it's, there's a point in the episode where, where I start to sound like this. And it gets really weird, but that's not what this sounded like. When I played back today's episode, it sounded like an alien. So I don't know. Hopefully aliens are here. Maybe I am an alien. Anyway, let's get on with this shit. Uh, but so people are reselling these, these Stanley cups, uh, online for like, I like got eBay and shit, like for colors that are sold out, like double the price, triple the price, quadruple, like $400. It's a water bottle. People. I don't understand. It's a water bottle. By the way, if you spill it, if you tip, I'm sorry, if you tip it over, like it spills, like it's not even practical. <laughs> I don't, I don't get you have to buy like a separate thing to put on it so that it doesn't spill it if it tips over. So it doesn't make any sense. And kids are taking them to school and shit. And like, it's, you know, they're knocking them over and it's hella loud. Like, listen to like, like it's, it's metal. You know what I mean? So it's not, it's not a quiet thing. So if it falls over in class, you knock it over. Not only is it spilling water everywhere, but it's making a loud ass noise, totally disruptive. And then kids, like some kids who take the, the, the counterfeit ones or ones that look like a Stanley, but aren't a Stanley are getting made fun of and shit. <laughs> I don't understand what is going on here. It's a fucking water bottle. People calm down. I mean, it's a good water bottle. I like mine. It keeps my water cold. The ice lasts forever. Did you see that story? on the lady, her car burned down entire car completely caught on fire. Gone melted everything on the inside except for in the middle of her water in the middle of her car was her stanley water cup not melted people at stanley saw it and they like gave her a new car and a new water bottle i think that's pretty cool makes me want to go set my car on fire and see what happens what about me stanley do i get one oh why this is going to be an interesting show i don't know what see this is what happens so i record so i don't usually do the show stone i just don't this is something i don't do i'm not into it uh it, i like to stay more focused so but i'll have a drink every once in a while but i don't usually smoke so i did today's show and as it was downloading and go processing where i was like i'm gonna go smoke a little bit i came back and when i listened to it that's what i heard that everything sounded like an alien but i'm so i had now i'm having to do the show high fuck or maybe I'm not, I'm just making it up. You have no idea. Anyway, where was I? Uh, so, oh, the other thing about these water bottles too is uh, it is a huge reminder for me to drink water. Because look how fucking big it is. By the time I look to the left or the right, I'm like, holy shit, that thing's with Maybe I should drink a little bit of water. <laughs> but I just don't get the madness behind it. And it's, it doesn't make any sense to me. I guess women are just crazy when it comes to some of this stuff. Like they, they get wild over things like, remember Beanie Babies? Like that shit, it's kind of what this reminds me of is, is the whole beanie baby craze. Uh, but it is so bad that people are actually stealing them right down the road from where I live in, in the, the Rockland Roseville area. A thirsty thief was busted by cops after she swiped. You'll never guess how, I'm not going to tell you how many, I'm just going to show you this picture. Let me put the picture up on the screen. So sorry, freeloaders, if you're not gonna be able to see it, but look at this fucking cop car. This cop car is covered in Stanley water bottles. Police were called to a store on Stanford Ranch the other day when they got a tip that a woman was on a shopping spree, of course, without paying. Apparently, she had a serious case of cotton mouth and needed to quench her thirst with some high quality water bottles. Okay. This woman didn't care about the price tag. Like I said, these things are kind of expensive. And she also didn't care about the security cameras that were watching her fucking load up her cart with 65 Stanley quenchers. What the fuck? 65. Clearly, she's trying to sell them on her TikTok shop. She doesn't want to sell the, the the counterfeit ones. She wants a legit thing. She wants, to, and then she can jack the prices up probably on you. Uh, then she tried to make a run for it. She ignored the, the store staff. They tried to stop her, which is crazy. What were you guys trying to do? She could sue you. This is California. You're not allowed to stop anybody robbing you. You let them take whatever the fuck they want to, and you let it, let the police handle it if they even handle it. But she got away. She ignored him and she crammed her car with the loot. And then she ended up speeding off and hoping to just enjoy her collection of new water bottles in peace, I guess. But her joy ride, ride blah, 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 her joy ride 
<laughs> well, short, I told you this is going to be an interesting show is short lived after an officer spotted her on highway 65 over by uh Galleria Boulevard. So if you're not from this area and you're listening to this podcast outside of Sacramento area, or whatever, it's just, this is a mall. She's talking about a, an area was a really, really nice mall. The Roseville gallery is a beautiful mall. There's all kinds of stores and shopping around the mall and restaurants and stuff. So this, I don't know, maybe she stole this. She probably stole these from Dick's. Because there's Dick's over there and Dick's sell these. By the way, whoever, who names their store Dick's? Dick's? Really? What is it? A bunch of people sitting around? Like, what are we going to call our store? We're going to name it. I got it. Dick's. Hey, let's go to Dick's. Everybody loves Dick's. <laughs> or maybe the guy's name was Dick. I don't know. That's probably likely the case. But I like to think that everyone was like, hey, let's call it Dick's. So she probably stole these from Dick's from penises overall around the mall. Anyway, the officer pulled her over, searched her car. He found 65 Stanley water bottle cups. Let's make this a little bit bigger on the screen so you can get a really good view of it. Some of these don't even look like they're Stanley's though. Are they all Stanley's? I can't even tell. Anyway, that's a lot. Of, so anyway, it came out to about two, $2,500 worth of Stanley's. This is the problem. First of all, that's a lot of fucking money for some metal containers, don't you think? But this is the thing. This is where she fucked up because if she had only stole $950 worth of Stanley water cups, she could get away with the whole fucking thing. But she's got to steal over $950. Now it's grand theft. So she's going to be in trouble. This woman, she's 23 years old. She's from Sacramento. She was arrested for grand theft. She now faces serious charges and probably a serious case of dehydration. <laughs> Shut up. The Roseville police issued a statement saying, while Stanley quenchers are all the rage, we strongly advise against turning to crime to fulfill your hydration habits. There are cheaper and legal ways to stay hydrated, like drink tap water or buying a re reusable water bottle. Please don't be like this woman who clearly has more water bottles than brain cells. That's the police saying that. I love the, the road, like all of the Placer County police departments. Excuse me while I drink. Like I have cotton mouth because I, like I said, anyway, they're all good. All these places, they all talk shit too. Every time they arrest an idiot, they, they post about it online. They'll post their picture or tell their story and then say something funny. I think it's good. Good for them though, because crime in California is pretty fucking bad. It's awful. So at least some local law enforcement is trying to do whatever they can trying to do something about it. I guess it's, it's sad when, well, when you get like employees who want to try to like take down a robber, like those guys, what is it at the seven 11? It was last year. It was probably spring, early summer. Um, those two dudes, they ended up beating up a guy in the seven 11. It was two workers. The guy came in, he was just stealing cigarettes. He didn't even give a fuck. He was just walked in front of them, grabbed a garbage can and just started throwing cigarettes in there. And the workers were like, dude, what are you doing? And he didn't even care. He just ignored him. So the one guy grabbed a broom and beat the shit out of him. Those guys ended up getting fired, but then I think the community rallied behind them and they got their jobs back. But dude, it's it's sad when businesses or workers have to take things in their own hand. Even worse, when businesses like have to close. Shipping can make or break a sale, so optimize how you ship your orders with ShipStation. They make it easy to automate and manage orders no matter how big your business grows. And they might even be able to help reduce shipping and warehouse costs. So optimize and keep up your momentum for growth with ShipStation. Sign up for your free 60-day trial now at ShipStation.com and use the code P-O-D. That's ShipStation.com with the code P-O-D. Because of the crime that's here in California, in and out in Oakland, is saying goodbye because of the crime. Because crime is out of control. This, by the way, is the picture. This, I was trying to get that up on the screen. This is the actual in and out in Oakland. All in and outs look the same, by the way. So freeloaders, you're not missing much. This is an in and out, yellow, red, whatever, with the palm trees in the front. Every in and out has two palm trees that cross. What does that mean? Is that satanic? No, probably not, because in and out puts Bible verses on the bottom of their cups. Anyway, uh, this is actually, this is pretty sad news for in and out lovers. It will close the Oakland restaurant in the spring because of its rising crime. In the area, the fast food joint said that its customers and employees have been suffering from car break-ins, property damage, theft, and even armed robberies, and it can no longer operate in such a safe environment. Yet, you kind of can't really force people to come to work in an area where they have to kind of risk their lives. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you got to come to work. Try not to die. How about fuck you? <laughs> How about I go get another job? But 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 good for In-N-Out, you know, for 
taking this into consideration. The restaurant located near the Oakland International Airport has been serving burgers and fries and shakes for over 18 years. And they say it is a very profitable. It is, was, and still is a very profitable location for the company, but they just can't, they got to shut it down. The company's chief operating officer, Danny Warnick, said that the safety and well-being of its customers and employees is the top priority and they have no choice but to close the restaurant. The closure obviously will affect some employees, but they will be offered a chance to transfer to another location. And here's where this is one of the one of the great things about In-N-Out. They pay, first of all, they pay really, really well. So like if you're into the fast food industry and you want to stay there, go get a job in In-N-Out because if you become a manager, you're making like $150,000 a year or some insane shit like that. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Plus, but they pay their regular workers really well too. Uh, but check this shit out. They're offering severance packages to people who have to leave or can't get another job or can't take another job. It's like, so that's pretty cool because most places don't offer, like most jobs at all don't offer a severance package. Like it's hard to even get one in media. Like, how can I get a severance package for the job that I have? Like, if can I quit this job and get a severance package? Please, dear God, please. This job's, I don't want to talk about bad about my job because I like my boss a lot and I like the people that I work with a lot. They're good people and they're doing good things. But do I care about the job that I have? No. I care about the fact that it pays me. I'm, I'm one of those people. I never used to be, I never used to be one of those people. Like I used to love going to work every single day. Like I loved my job. I post about it online. Like I loved waking up. I loved going to work. And now I'm one of those people that just dreads it. I do love waking up and doing the show. Let me get back to this. I, see, I get fucking sidetracked. This is what happens. But again, this is why I love in and out I don't necessarily love their food, but the company said that they will continue to, obviously they're offering severances and shit. And, uh, they, they did a lot of charity in, in the area for Oakland. They do it in every area that they're in, which is great. They said they'll continue to do the charity in the areas of Oakland. Even, even after they close the business down, they'll continue to donate through do different things to their foundations and stuff, which I think is fantastic. You know, people, people are always like, let it know it's the best fucking, I don't think in and out has the best food. You know, it's just, it's just okay. I mean, I, there, if you get the food a certain way, it's some, some people like it animal style with all that shit on it. I like it. Here's how I get my in and out burger. You got to get it mustard fried, delicious. Um, basically they just fry it in mustard. It's so good. And then you got to get the onion on it, not grilled. You got to get regular ass onion on it. Get it double cheese. If you want, I'm not a huge fan of the cheese. Cheese kind of fucks me up a little bit. Sometimes not it's it, their cheese just isn't that great. Cause it's just too much. But cheese, if you want to, and then get the, what is it? Diced chilies, I think. Put those on there and get your fries well done. <sighs> so good. Some people like them light well. I say get them well done. They're way better. I'm not a big fan of their fries unless they're well done. God, this morning is, I'm so thrown off with everything. I'm cotton mouth so bad. I'm trying to do this show. I appreciate you guys tuning in, though. I really do. I really appreciate it. So as I talk crap about California and, and give you the news anyway, so <clears throat> if you do get a burger the way I just said, it, you definitely are stepping up your burger game over there, but then like you can get the animal style, whatever, if you want, it's not for me, that's too much stuff. Anyway, this is just another sad example of how just life in effect in California is being seriously affected by the crime problems we have here, especially in Oakland, dude, Oakland has been, has been hit pretty hard with some violent incidents lately, but it's happening all over the place. Like I'm, I'm talking about in Rockland and Roseville, this lady stealing all these goddamn Stanley cups. This is right down the street from my house. And I'm not trying to brag or anything, but I live in a pretty nice area. I'm, I'm grateful for that. You know, like I work to be here and I will continue to work my ass off doing things that I hate in order to make sure I can keep my family here in this area so that we can go to good schools and be safe and, and whatever. And then you, then you get people stealing Stanley cups from dicks. <laughs> I don't even know if that's what the case was, but don't be a dick. Don't steal from dicks, but it sucks. It, it's just like the, the crime is my point is the crime is spilling over literally everywhere okay residences residences residents are fed up businesses are fed up they're feeling frustrated on everything is really really unsafe and a lot of them are leaving for good reason and i'm talking about residents and businesses so it, it, this is gavin newsom's california ladies and gentlemen right here on the screen you see it zero star well one star would not recommend if i could have gave it a half a star i would have i post this this is i post this up on uh this meme 
up on Facebook and Instagram the other day. And some people are like, oh, you can just leave whatever the flow. Oh, yeah, I love it here. Oh, yeah, sure you do. You've been, you've been gaslit. I'll get to that in a second. But a majority of people agreed with me on this, that California just it, it pretty much sucks right now. Look, we all want to love it. It has, it has so many wonderful things. And I know I got into this conversation a little bit on Friday, through, but I wanted to dive into this and talk about this for a minute. Because there were some people with some really compelling and valid reasons as to why California is still and will always be a pretty nice place to live. It's still pretty dope. Nature is nice. Okay. There's always stuff to do here in Sacramento. We have aftershock. We have golden sky. We have lots of music festivals, which is awesome. I love music. So that like, that's a great thing. We have the ocean. We're what? Two hours away from the ocean. We're two hours away from beautiful mountains. Go hiking, go camping. Okay. Those are things you can do pretty much anywhere, but it's, it's beautiful here. Those things are great. Plus the food, the tacos. Oh my God, the Mexican food. It doesn't get any better. I don't care what anybody, Texas, Arizona, you guys can say all the things you want to new Mexico. I don't give a fuck. The best Mexican food is in California, but those things are great. And there's some really, really great things about California, but it also has some very serious issues that sometimes outweigh those great kind of superficial things, great tacos, great. But hey, if you can afford the tacos, great weed. If you can afford the weed, there's all kinds of stuff to do. If you could afford to do those things, you know, it, it, a lot of people are feeling the pinch here in California is what I'm trying to say. And most people across the country have made California their, their favorite punching bag. I can prove this too. Let me throw this thing up here, right here. Look at this. This is the Berkeley Institute of Government Studies. The UC Berkeley Institute of Governmental Studies spilled the tea, basically, revealing that only 33% of Californians believe the state is headed in the right direction. Meanwhile, 57% think it's on a one-way ticket to fucking negative land. All right. And according to the Los Angeles Times, like I was saying, we're just the punching bag and not just to the GOP, which is Los Angeles Times. They're saying California bashing is it was because this already happened, a constant occurrence at the Iowa campaign trail for the for the uh, primaries. You're going to see this. We're going to see California getting bashed left and right over the next year so badly because there's no point in bashing Biden. Biden is already terrible. But it's the policies that are in California that Biden and the rest of the Democrats want to spread across the country. So the Republicans are going to be like, no, fuck that. We don't want this. We don't want that. We don't want children to be able to train, change their gender at 10. We don't want uh, this type of stuff and educate, you know, whatever. Not things I want to talk about right now because that's not the point. The point is that that California is, has kind of become the punching bag of the nation. And, and, and honestly, like I said, it's going to happen throughout the rest of the year. So, And this is according to this poll. This is a, a very liberal university doing this poll here in California. So you're telling me that 57% of Californians are not happy with the way California is being run right now, even though all these people voted for Gavin Newsom? Weird. They had a chance to recall him and they voted for him again? Did they, though? Speaking of Gavin the Goof Newsom, this fucking, this same poll threw a little shade at Gavin. The goof. Look at his ugly ass. Look at this picture. At least this is a terrible picture of him. God, every picture is a terrible picture of him. What do you think he's thinking right there? It looks like he just farted. What you did you fart? Do you a little too much broccoli? A little broccoli farts going on there, Gavin. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, it turns out 47% of these people surveyed disapproved of Gavin the goof. And then 46% kind of gave him like a halfway sort of like a, almost not really a total thumbs up, but like a, I got my black stuff on my thumbs. That's, that is from the garage. If you know, you know, uh, but that's Gavin, the goof, half a thumbs up. He doesn't even, he should get all thumbs down, everything thumbs down because the, well, the survey brought up this, the huge colossal budget deficit looming over this jackass's head, like a dark freaking cloud, nearly 90% of voters are like, dude, this is a problem in a very serious problem. 90% of the people surveyed in this poll, in this very liberal poll are saying that your, your, my, your budget problem, Gavin, the goof is a big deal. Get it together, man. 
yeah, but don't worry. You want, you know, don't worry at all because leftist politicians in this state have a plan to fix it and they're going to raise taxes because that's what they'd like to do. It's all about raising taxes here in California. Some proposed it tax increases include personal income tax increases for income, uh, higher income your earners. So if you make over a million dollars a year, they want to raise your fucking taxes. <laughs> people, so, so these people who have the means to just move and leave are like, you know what? No, I'm out. Okay, bye. There's more people leaving. Uh, sales tax increase, which would be insane unless you do, like what I talked about last week, you can raise the sales taxes, but you need to do away with the income tax. If you raise raise sales tax 15, 20%, maybe if you have to, uh, but completely do away with all federal and state income tax, that could be a good thing, but that's not what they're talking about here. They just want to raise the, the sales tax. Check this out. California already has the highest sales tax in the nation at the, the, the minimum statewide sales tax at 7.25 percent on top of local taxes and all the other fees and bullshit that they put on there you're going to be if they raise the sales tax we're going to be probably well we're already paying damn near 11 percent. so so how how much higher are you going to raise it you want to take it to 15 percent and still make us pay all these other taxes as well that's crazy if we're already paying almost 11 percent in sales tax i think that that's enough you people need to calm down but then they also want to raise the corporate taxes too. This would raise taxes for businesses operating in California. This is already why some of the businesses are leaving. Businesses are like, you're going to raise our taxes, but you can't even provide a safe place for us to, to do business. I don't think so, Tim. And then they want to talk about raising property. tax. Well, not really raise property tax. They want to change the way property taxes are calculated. That could potentially lead to some higher tax bills for certain homeowners. So what the fuck? Raising taxes, the other people like, you know, maybe just how about you cut, cut shit, cut, sh cut other things, cut, not education, you dumbass, but things that we don't fucking need. Like how much money is going into the, the homeless problem that isn't getting fixed? Let's rethink that. How much money is going into, you know, giving people free needles? Gavin, Let's talk about those things. Those are things that can be cut where we can save a little bit of money in, in helping the budget there or just tap into the state, state's piggy bank or, you know, give your buddy uh, Brandon a call. He prints money left and right for the entire country. He'll give you some money. Maybe call Xi Jinping. You, Brandon, and Xi Jinping are best friends. Have him give you some fucking money. Stop taking it away from us, man. Nobody wants you to raise taxes. Nobody wants the state to raise taxes. Shockingly, only 13%. Shockingly, 13% of people do. And I say only, yeah, because it's fucking low, but why would anybody want that? But here's a little twist of fate, I guess. Gavin doesn't want to raise taxes either. I'm, that's, I'm mind blown. I don't know what his plan is, but he's like anti uh, the tax train. So that's a good thing, at least. Unfortunately, if you think about it, it's probably just political theater because progressive, progressive legislators and their entire fan club, I'm talking about like public employees and unions and shit like that, uh, other groups that depend on the state budget, they're screaming for higher taxes and they'll get their way. They always do. They always do. Because they got the best lobbyists. It is what it is. What are you going to do about it? You're going to listen to the Mikey podcast and then you're going to get motivated to do something. Vote this people, these crazy people out of the office. It doesn't make sense, man. This is why people are leaving California. Though. This is why people like myself are having a really hard time loving this place like we should because of all the other great, amazing, wonderful things it has to offer. I want to love it. I used to love it. You know, and I still do. That's why it's a love-hate relationship. But I do everything I can to try to make the best out of it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving. I'm going to be here for a while. So I'm kind of, you know, so it is what it is. And so, and I've lived here for a long time. This is home. I've lived here for 20 fucking years, you know? So you, you can't just tell me that when I post things and talk shit about California, I have every right to do it. Okay. So you can't just say, well, then just leave. Well, pack it up. Right, right, right. Go back to Ohio. I fucking live. I haven't lived in Ohio for a million years. Why would I go back there? It doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. And I've lived in multiple states in this country and I'll always come back to California. I have always come back. So I have a connection here. Don't just be like, oh, let the door hit you on it. That's so stupid. You got to stop and think about what's going on here. You got to stop and, and think logically instead of just want to talk shit. All right. The state is very screwed up. It has become worse and worse and worse year after year after year. And why is that? What is causing this? Stop being gaslit.
by these goddamn dumb narcissistic politicians telling you that the state is in good shape and that things are fine and this is what people want. Nobody wants this. Nobody wants to live like this. Nobody wants to walk downtown Sacramento, downtown San Francisco and have to step over human poop, which I literally saw. Nobody wants to walk around their, their capital and see it surrounded by homeless tents. What is this, a third world country? Get the fuck out of here. So you can't pretend that this is what people want and that, that it's good. No, yes, there are good things, but there are really bad things that are unfortunately outweighing the good. It's not safe. It's not a good place to raise your family. It used to be, and it can be again. Okay, we can fix these things. People, people, part of the problem, to be honest with you, is because of Democrats. It's because of leftist policies. It's the truth. It is what it is. And they want to take these policies. They want to spread these policies across the country because they say it's freedom. Freedom, you don't, you're, 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 you're not looking deep enough into this. You're, you're looking surface level because these politicians are telling you that it's freedom or the freedom state. You can, you can kill babies. You can change your fucking gender. You can do whatever you can do drugs. You can do whatever you want to, but there's problems that are coming along with these things that they're not talking about. California, you can live wherever you want to pitch a tent. You're fine. Be homeless here. We'll give you needles. You can do drugs. You can die in the street. Nobody cares. Throw your needles on the ground in the parks where the kids are supposed to be playing. Listen, we're going to have to change our way we vote and we might have to vote Republican in order to fix some of these problems. And people are like, oh, I don't want to vote Republican. They're not compassionate enough. We can still be compassionate to the less fortunate and provide a safe place for people to live and raise their families. We can fix this. We can. I don't know how it takes a group. To get it, I'm just doing my part right now to bring awareness to the problems so that we can try as a collective to create real solutions for real people like you, like me, the less fortunate, not for these politicians and not for these celebrities. These aren't real people. These are fuck these people. We got to come together and figure out a way to fix it for us. God damn, I sound like a politician. I, I should run for motherfucking government. I don't think I can run, but I should run. But if I sound like a politician, I might as well campaign like one. If you are listening to this show right now, you could be getting an ad-free experience at mikeypodcast.com right now. So in the sub club, and uh, here's what I wanted to tell you at the beginning of the show. A great way for you to score a free Mikey Podcast t-shirt is join the sub club right now at the diamond level mikeypodcast.com i'm gonna do it for the rest of the week i started this on friday and it went really well and i figured you know i'm gonna carry it over let's get it let's let's do it till, let's do it for the week so anybody who joins mikey podcast at mikeypodcast.com on the diamond level sub club which is just for the year and it's, I mean, you're paying like i think it's like seven cents a day or something um but you're good to go i'll send you a mikey podcast t-shirt one of these t-shirts where i can't show you it doesn't matter because if you're a freeloader you're not seeing it uh but if you are already a sub club member and you are at uh and you're at uh, one of the other levels you can upgrade if you upgrade your level to the diamond level i'll you'll get the shirt too how's that that way i'm helping everybody out so you join the sub club you get the shirt you upgrade you get the shirt everybody gets a mikey podcast shirt. everybody's looking good you're vip and you're styling that's a pretty good deal right I think so. I like it. So upgrade from the freeloader life and become a VIP sub club member. Mikeypodcast.com. All the links that you need for this to support this show in every way. Follow, like, subscribe. All that stuff matters. Everything you need to do is right in the description of this and every show and you're supporting independent media. So think about that as well too. Even if you do subscribe and and, and just remember it's it's less than 10 cents a day and remember you're, you're getting I'm doing my best to try to bring you the truth. You know? That's really all I can do. Uh, so if you enjoy the content, make sure you drop a like, follow, subscribe. Like I already said, do that on whatever platform you're listening on because it really, really does matter. And remember, I appreciate you guys. You're awesome. Be safe out there today. I'll be back on Wednesday. And remember this, the most important thing. Question everything. See ya. The Mikey Podcast.